Red arrow. The flooding of it. And the once used to be out the bluff course turned into a water town. So it's hole ten. And as you can see, we cannot even play from it because we can't even stick by the tee. Tee is almost under. As you can tell by my feet, they're getting soaked. And that would be her basket, I should say. All Mother Nature's grand works. can't even go down there and grab your desk unless you want to and you're crazy enough. I would. Hole seven. This used to be a trail where you could walk through in hole seven, but This basket's untouched. So you can still play a whole six if you'd want. Oh wait, never mind. So yeah, that's for the tea pad. I went down under. I'll take a look at the tea pad for it. Yeah, I'll do that next. Unless you would want to stand in that stuff. For hole five. Go to that basket if you'd want. But, here's a catch. You're going to have to go swimming. I got hot. Like I said, T for that one. Walking along. Even more water than before I hear.
now for hole five or six or four met. You shoot from that T pad over there where cooler is kind of going by. So now uh, to T three, which is over there. Somewhere. You would have to shoot your desk or throw your desk all the way. No, that's T2, or a basket 2. It's not that bad, you can still grab your disc. Still walking kind of distance. Close enough. Reach out and grab someone. <laughs> you can't really throw from T2. Unless you like to cheat. But I got his ace from this hole. Too bad you can't play and get another ace from this hole for a while. Now this is basket one. But to play from it, To shoot from or shoot from as when you just go down here. And the infamous bird cage. <laughs> Good old red arrows. <laughs> 